The psalmist wrote in Psalm chapter 90, verse two, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. While everything in our life and about our life changes, the scripture promises that God doesn't. He is the one constant that is steady, sure, and certain. However, if you're like me, there are experiences we go through in life where this truth is no doubt tested and questioned. It may come in the middle of a trial that you're facing, or it may creep in in the midst of a situation or circumstance that's beyond your control. We've had times, all of us, that leave us confused, struggling to figure out what God is up to in the moment. What in the world is He doing? We've all wondered, does God really see what is taking place in my life? If He did, certainly He would do something about this predicament that I'm in. Uh, we've asked this question, is God listening to me as I cry out in prayer? Because it sure doesn't seem like it. In fact, I feel like my prayers are not even making it past the ceiling of the room I'm in at the time. Why won't God speak to me? I hear other Christians talk about hearing from God, but all I'm getting is silence. Surely you've had these thoughts, and there is no question that you have asked some of these questions at one time or another. I know I have, and it's actually what led me to write this book, The Always God. He hasn't changed, and you're not forgotten. In this book, I'll take you, the reader, on a journey to discover that the always God is always here, always working, and He's always faithful. Just think about that for a moment. God is always here. He has promised that He is with us, never to leave us, never to forsake us. And in this section of the book, we'll discover together that God always sees what we're going through, always hears us when we pray to Him, and is always speaking to His children. In part two of the book, we find that the always God is always at work. If you've ever wondered, is what God did in the Bible, the miracles, the moving in people's lives, is that just relegated to some time in the past? You read this section of the book and you'll see just how God continues to work today. He is always working. He's not limited by time. And just as He worked in the past, He is working in the present. He is working in our lives to pursue the lost, restore the broken, calm the anxious, encourage the fearful, comfort the lonely, help the angry, and to forgive the guilty. You'll read in these chapters real life stories and receive biblical application that I promise you will help you to see that God is still active in your life today. He is always here. He is always working. And finally, in part three of this book, you'll discover the truth that God is always faithful. Because He is the one constant in our life, because He doesn't change, these two chapters will reinforce the fact that because of who God is, He can always be trusted and there is always hope. Listen to me, God hasn't changed. And you, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever you may be up against, I promise you this, you are not forgotten. My prayer is this book will encourage and strengthen your faith. And I'm asking you to join me on this journey of coming to know in a greater and deeper way, the always God.